nine. Aiden! Pick a letter for us. A letter? I'll choose A. A. F at zero? Yeah. Answer? Five. Raise your hand if you got five. I got five. There it is. X is equal to zero. The order pair is zero, five. Remember that's like an X and that's like an F of X. Right? Good job, Aiden. Pick the next person. Fabio. Oh my God. Fabio. Uh, what letter? I'll choose B. Okay. Answer? The answer is two. Raise your hand if you got two. Awesome. Pick the next person. Uh, I got one. One. Yes. Did you guys see what was tricky about the graph? Two boxes equals one. So each box is 0 0.5 per half. Did you guys see that? Good. Who went last? Pick the next person. Where you got C? No, no, where did C? I mean E. E. X equals 5. Raise your hand if you got that. Remember, that's just an easier way of saying the Y value is 10. Over here, a Y value is 10. What is X value? <coughs> is 5. Alright, you pick the next person. Sebastian. Okay. Uh, 1 and 3 is correct. If you put your pencil down, where are your y values to? <coughs> there's actually two places. Do you see it? So he was correct. Good job, Sebastian. Sebastian, pick the next person. Uh, Anybody you want? Jonathan. Jonathan. Which we only have one Jonathan. Oh, we have two Jonathans oh. this year. Jonathan H and Jonathan V. Mm -hmm. Jonathan V. Your choice is D now. This one was tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. <coughs> F of 3. Everyone put your pen at 3. Alright, Jonathan, you're just going to have to make a judgment call. What do you think that number is? That one? If we're saying that your uh, y value, sorry, 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 um, this is saying wrong, wrong, wrong. Our x value is three, so I was wrong. Your x value is three. Then, um, what is your y value? Two. So four times two, and four times two is. Eight. Okay, so that was a little bit of practice on function notation.